Hello everyone, just found about here. Um, today we are at Morimoto Asia. We are going to uh, tell you what we think about their food. You have Jason here today, along with me, Brandon, Todd, and Kathy. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. finished with our meal at Morimoto mm -hmm. and what did everybody think oh wow it's pretty know, good it's very delicious yeah. what, what did you think about the atmosphere of it, of it it seemed maybe like a little um, modern I guess but like Asia clashed with an art exhibit yeah 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 it's so, it yeah. wasn't an Intel commercial mm -hmm. so it's just like a pretty much a modern Kind of like an art exhibit you know style building and it's just like an age an asian clash to it i really like the interior design and everything it was all very nicely done yeah it was very mod uh very nice we started out with a um appetizer we had uh, some sushi we actually had the uh california roll as well as the vegetable roll so uh, quickly, what you guys think about think about uh, the two rolls we had? They were they were pretty good. Um, I don't really have a complaint for either of them. So, I, I, yeah, they were both good in my book. Yeah, sushi were pretty good. I liked them. They also had a. Uh, did you talk about the homemade soy sauce? Yeah, they had a uh, homemade soy sauce that they uh, brought out first, uh, along with your plates uh, and silverware. Uh, to me, the uh, let's see, the California roll. Uh, it was thirteen dollars. Uh, the California roll came with a, it was blue crab meat, cucumber, avocado. I thought it, I thought it was really good. Uh, it had sort of a fishy taste to it at first. I thought. Oh, well, maybe they mixed ours up with, uh, you know, like a tuna roll or something. But, um, uh, Jason, I think that was your favorite though, right? Yeah. It was the I California had, roll. Had like yeah, roll. it still had, it was, it was very good. It had a very good taste to it. I think uh, Kathy's was the, uh, uh, the vegetable roll. The vegetable roll had asparagus, carrot, avocado, spring mix, and cucumber. Mm -hmm. um, it was presented beautifully. Uh, all the food was presented uh, beautifully. Yeah. So, uh, but you you enjoyed the taste? Yes, it was very good. It was very good. And I normally don't like sushi, so. Morimoto, the way it sort of works is you can do it almost like a family style um, so everything is like shareable so the first round was what um, the first on the list was the kotatsu uh, ramen which was rich pork broth egg noodles roasted pork soy marinated egg and uh, wood ear mushroom and pickled ginger so what you guys think of it um, well, it, it definitely was a lot better compared to your, like, 99-cent ramen. Um, I can tell you as a college student um, who eats ramen <coughs> quite often that it is definitely preferable to, like, you know, like the, uh, what's the brand Top Noodle or whatever? The, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah those, those brands of noodles, it, it definitely had more flavor. It felt a little, you know, the noodles themselves were a little bit, like, more, I guess, softer. Uh, what did you think, Jason? I mean, yeah, it tasted like a chicken broth, but with pork in it. Yeah. Uh, not much to complain about. It was just a really good soup. Yeah, good flavors. I can taste the ginger every once in a while. If you like hot pot and you like the broth from hot pots, you like the soup. Yeah, um, I thought it was I thought it was very tasty. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, the pork was very tender that was in it. 
uh, I got a piece of the egg, uh, which was really good, uh, the noodles. The broth itself, you could tell was, uh, you know, a homemade broth chicken broth uh, very very flavorful I actually put some of the homemade soy sauce in mine because I like that you know a little extra uh, kick of the soy sauce but um, it was uh, definitely delicious mm -hmm. okay and what about our second meal that we had come out uh, that was the, the um, ribs the ribs yeah the ribs. Um, ribs they were the special Morimoto ribs spare ribs. Rib. they were really good yeah, they the were, spare rib they were very, very flavorful. It was a, uh, you know, very tender to the point to where it just like fell off the bone. There was some kind of like, was it seaweed that was on top, or what was it? There was like a very, no, 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 like on top of it. Oh, I it was know. some no, like that was like a, like a I think uh, saffron okay, actually that yeah, was it, on top of it. It kind of looked like a wiring, like a netting on top of it. Uh, don't <laughs> yeah, worry. Yeah, the presentation again. Don't worry, it, it is edible. Um, <laughs> if you're asking yourself, it, it is edible. I know because, you know, I I was the first one to take a bite out of, you know, the netting looking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, it was pretty good too. It was a little bit on the spicy side. Um, the ribs themselves, you know, fall off the bone, very tender. Um, probably some of the most well-made ribs I've ever had. Um, they just go right down to the bone and you can eat them all the way through till there's, you know, nothing but the, the rib, the rib bone itself. So sure how ribs are. Yeah. 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 We were told that that was one of the specialties that, um, he had made for competition and wow, they were really good. No wonder he won. Yeah. Uh, to me, I particularly, uh, well, I enjoyed the ribs, uh, but the sauce, uh, was the sauce that uh, you know I liked, but uh, I really um, I don't know. There was something in the sauce that I really didn't care for. So it's you know it's all up to your palate, I guess. These three you know loved them hands down. Uh, to me, there was like uh, just uh, some sort of I'm not sure if it was a spice or what uh, that just didn't agree with me, but but. But yeah, they were they were some really good ribs. Okay, the third dish we had come out was the uh, Morimoto Burry Bop, and uh, that was a Korean style yellowtail rice bowl served in a hot clay pot, finished with egg yolk and prepared table side. That was totally awesome how they did that. Yeah. Uh, that was, yeah, that was really good. Uh, the guy actually did prepare it table side. Uh, in the clay pot, uh, told us uh, the whole time uh, about the preparation, how long he was going to sear it uh, on each side, and actually uh, uh, he was saying that uh, Chef Morimoto used this in competition uh, on the Iron Chef. This was actually a signature dish that he created it was the winning on the dish. Iron Chef. It was his winning dish. Yes. So, uh, what'd you guys think about it? Um, it was very good, like, uh, with the ingredients that were inside of it, you know, I was kind of stretching my, I guess, my palate during um, this whole experience. But um, the whole thing came together pretty well. It all tasted good. Um, I was a little bit worried about the fish being a little, you know, undercooked uh, for my liking. But, yeah, you know, I was it, too. But it turned out fine. Yeah. Like, I, I had no problems with it. It's just, you know, sometimes you gotta, especially like with more of the Asian foods, you kind of have to stick a leg out there and just be willing to go a little bit further with what you're willing to taste. Yeah, because he does just sear it on one side. Yeah. yeah. And the other side is left um, uncooked. Right. So keep that in but mind. But I, I think by the time you get it, it's cooked almost all the way through. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. Jason. Huh? What, what did you, you think? think? About it? Oh, I thought it was pretty good for fish and rice. Uh, the crunch of the rice at the bottom was pretty good. Um, the way the uh, fish almost instantly cooked when it touched the sides of the bowl was, yeah, I liked it all. The preparation, uh, the, the yeah, watching it of making, I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Because he said the bowl was like 500 and something to degrees. So. Yeah, and I felt yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's a big clay pot. Yeah. Um, I really don't have much to say about this dish, but the flavors were all there and I enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, the last thing we had come out, which um, 
is probably my favorite. Maybe, maybe my favorite, I don't know, everything was pretty good, was the uh, Mongolian Filet Mignon. Uh, it's a wok sauteed scallion, uh, enoki mushroom, which is like a, the guy told us who brought it out, it's like a Japanese mushroom, um, sweet, uh, Szechuan sauce for table side. Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with words today, I apologize. Um, th I mean, there's not much, in my opinion, to be said about this steak. It was amazing. Um, I like the sauce that was on it. It was definitely cooked to how we asked it. Um, the uh, scallions that were under it, um, I ate a couple of them, and they were, they tasted good, but like they were kind of just, they were hard to get down, kind of. They were kind of um, chewy. Yeah, and, they yeah. were very chewy. Um, and with the mushrooms, um, I didn't try them because, you know, I'm kind of weird with mushrooms. Um, I had already tried mushrooms once today in one of the earlier dishes, and I decided <laughs> not to go for it again. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion on it. I liked it. Uh, the sauce is pretty terrible, in my opinion. It took away the flavor of the steak. Oh. But the, the steak, all in all, was good. Um, not a big fan of medium steaks, but yeah, it was a good steak. I agree with you. I, I did not really care for the sauce that was on, uh, you know, that they had uh, with the steak. Um, but the steak itself, I thought, was prepared uh, wonderfully. Uh, the scallions, I was not a big fan of. I think that they should choose a different uh, side to uh, uh, for presentation. Maybe uh, some you know, sliced uh, green beans or uh, just, a, you know, another fresh vegetable that they can cook besides uh, the scallion greens because scallion greens are generally, you know, tough. You yeah. know, it's, it's different if you're getting more of the white portion of the scallions, but Those the green portions, portions, you know, the top portions are tough. So, uh, you know, that's something that I would just not go with. Uh, you know, maybe... Um, you know, just scallions themselves, but uh, but yeah, I would definitely go with a different uh, fresh side to serve with the meat. But the meat was perfectly done. It was it was delicious. Yeah, the meat was very tasty, and it was medium because of me, because I don't like anything rarer than medium. But um, the sauce I thought was pretty good. But I used the sauce. I didn't use the sauce on my steak. I used the sauce on my rice. It came with a side of white rice. Yeah, just so I your used normal white sticky rice. White yeah, rice. Sticky so, white rice. So, so I use um, I use the sauce on my rice. So yeah, but and then for dessert, moving on, we had dessert. Um, the boys had um, each had a plate churros. of churros. What did you think of your churros? In terms of what's supposed to be the final product, um, the churros they're pretty big as churros are. Um, you get three of them, and you have like a cream, but you also have, they also give you some Nutella. Um, to be honest, I could share it with two people. Uh, it, it wasn't really a thing that could be regularly eaten by one person, but I was really hungry, so I managed to get it all down. And then we had um, the dessert for two which was really supposed to probably be for, it should be for dessert for four. It was yeah, big. Yeah, definitely. It was big, but it was ice cream and whipped cream and berries and some chocolate and cream. And it was awesome. It was very good. Okay, so all in all, how would you guys rate this restaurant? I thought it was very good. I'd go back. Five schmackaroos out of five, yeah. Would you go back? Would I go back? Yeah, I, I'd probably, I'd probably go back. Um, get some ramen from there. I mean, like I said, everything was pretty good. It's just, you know, the fact that it's really expensive. You know, if you're on the dining plan, it's not that big of a deal for you, especially if you're there with a family. Uh, you end up saving a lot of money at places like that in the end. So, yeah, I, I would go back if like you were on the dining plan or something like that. Okay, actually, our bill. I have to bring this up. Our bill was around two hundred fifty dollars for all this. Uh, it would have been two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, but I had like two adult beverages. Uh, uh, I had two beers, but 
uh, come out after the dining plan, it was $39. $39. Okay, but then you had the tip, which our tip was around 50 So that is an enormous savings, you know. For us, uh, there's a lot of people that shy away from the Disney dining plan, but in our case, it works for us. So, you know, we go with it. And of course, that's a whole different topic, which we're not going to get into tonight as far as the dining plan is concerned. We'll do that later. Right. But Morimoto, they also have a, um, a street food uh, window, which you can go up to and get ramen and a couple of other dishes, mm -hmm. which we did this past January, which we were all like blown away by. You know, it was really good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but, but those are just our thoughts. Um, but keep in mind that Morimoto is two credits on yeah, the dining plan. Yes, yeah, so. two credits on the dining plan instead of one. So, uh, yeah, definitely keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, would I go back? Uh, probably uh, to the street food window, you know, again, instead of the main dining hall since we went there this time. But uh, I think it's definitely worth uh, a go for everyone. Uh, we, were, we were all satisfied, I think, with our meal. And we're definitely full that's for sure yeah all right guys so be sure to like subscribe and uh, leave us a comment of what your favorite uh, restaurant is here at Disney Springs and um, check us out on Facebook Instagram and Twitter yeah and if there is a restaurant here at Disney Springs that you would like us to try out in the future please let us know